Welcome back. It's been a turbulent time for the aviation industry, but with borders now open, airlines want their planes full and back in the sky. But they need manpower. Tonight, Virgin's job bonanza. We just can't wait to get back up in the sky and greet our guests on board. Well, I can see myself retiring in this hangar, I think. Cabin crew, ground services team, some of our engineering jobs, pilots, and head office jobs. If you've ever wanted a career in aviation, now could be your chance. Virgin Australia is back and is hiring hundreds of people to fill jobs across the network. The sky is the limit. It's been 703 days between international flights. And after two years of preparation, CEO and Managing Director of Virgin Australia, Jane Hardlicker, says the airline's ready. We've, you know, done a lot of hard work over the course of the last couple of years, making sure that we're a different company now. For Jane, a key focus is value for money. $69 fares are commonplace across our network. And on happy hour days, which is Thursday between 4 and 11 p.m., you can find $49 fares. And so there's nothing that we're leaving untouched with respect to bringing great value to Australia. The other major focus, staff. At Virgin Australia's training centre in Sydney, new members of the cabin crew team are being put through their paces. My story faces emergency today. These uh, group that we have here today are initial cabin crew. They're a group of 21 students. Uh, some of the students have returned from other airlines uh, and from uh, Virgin previously. The course is six weeks full time. Please take a seat in the overwing. Matthew Nicholson's crew training instructor. It's a new role for the Virgin veteran. Splash. You've worked in aviation for a long, long time. How did it feel to get the call that you were actually being made redundant? Uh, but it was really difficult. And I think not knowing when the industry would uh, either return to normal or, or bounce back in some capacity, I think that was the hardest. Matthew's finally returned to work at the airline he's given 10 years of his life to. Stay-at-home mum Christy says it's the opportunity she's been waiting for. How's the transition been? Oh, it's like a military operation every morning, <laughs> every afternoon. It's just, yeah, it's full on, but it's really good. I've always wanted to do this, so I'm pinching myself that I'm here, finally. It is incredible to be here today to meet you all face to face. We have people uh, learning different safety manoeuvres and different safety moves to ensure that they are well prepared when they step out on the line for the first time for this class next week. Lisa Burquist is Chief People Officer at Virgin. The airline employs 4,000 frontline workers and more than 2,000 in corporate head office. So the human side to my job I do not underestimate because I always put myself in their shoes. So I feel that there were days where it felt traumatic for the people and for me, um, but the whole country was also going through it, let alone the world. There is no silver bullet. It was actually quite difficult. Um, it's just one of those situations that you have to take day by day. At the start of the pandemic, Jess lost her job with an international airline. She returned home to Australia. When I got the call from Virgin, I was just, it was a relief. Every cabin crew member has to do this training before they can fly. Safety is at the forefront for any airline, but everybody hopes these exercises will never have to be put into action. <laughs> Woo! That's pretty fun. The trainees are then examined on how they handle emergency situations in the water. It was crazy. Chris, we're at the Virgin hangar. What's your role here? Oh, I'm an aircraft maintenance engineer. I hold a license on our Boeing 737-700. Uh, uh, this one here is a Boeing 737-800. Chris has worked in aviation for 27 years. 14 of those have been with Virgin. So what was going through your mind, Chris, when Virgin ran into some trouble? I was really sad. Yeah, really sad, cos um, everything I know about this company, uh, all the blokes that work here, we just didn't know what was going to happen. 
Chris is now on the hunt for apprentices, like Edward, who became fully qualified last week. My grandfather used to be an aircraft engineer and growing up I heard heaps of stories about what he was doing and uh, that sort of started my passion for it. Any tips for people who are a little bit fearful, who don't like the bumps along the road? The bumps along the road and the noises you hear, that's just this aeroplane flying through the air. I say relax and just enjoy the virgin way. I'm asking for a friend. OK, no doubt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this may look like a regular office, but the Integrated Operations Centre is the central nervous system of any airline. Damien Vasoli's duty manager. Who do we have here? So this is our Virgin Australia meteorologist, Greg. Mm -hmm. He's monitoring the weather conditions across the network today and uh, keeping an eye on all of our flights that are currently uh, in the air to make sure that there's no adverse weather affecting any of our operation. Okay. But we also uh, uh, look out for uh, volcanic ash, uh, which is very dangerous to aircraft en route, uh, also earthquakes, and of course uh, it's a tropical cyclone season. Engineers are on site, along with load control officers. Across the entire operations department, more than 50 jobs need to be filled fast. I've just had a call from Sydney Anco. Um, Yankee India Alpha is en route from Canberra to Cooley. It's got a left hand body overheat light in op. Yeah, can we divert it into Melbourne and maybe get them to have a look at it? So, yeah, cool. cool. Thanks. Is your result? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Are people's jobs safe? People's jobs are safe. We're really excited about the future and there's nothing, I think, but optimism to look forward to. There could be some ACA viewers watching this evening who may be interested in a job at Virgin. What is your message to Australians? Pursue your dreams, pursue your passions and please, you know, give it a shot. Those jobs are available now.